Hello, this is Amy from iTradeAims. In this video, I'm going to talk about a gold setup that created 400% profit. So what you see on the screen is a gold chart on the daily time frame. It has created a setup one signal. It was created somewhere at the end of June. We went long above the box. As per the setup one signal, you see red and blue boxes on the chart, the rectangles. These boxes represent one unit of risk. So the red rectangle shows the distance between entry price and the stop loss level. Now, the way to calculate your lot size would be to calculate that distance from where your entry is and where your stop loss is. So let's suppose it is 10 points and you are going $10 a point, then that is $100 risk. If you went with uh, $100 per point risk, and the stop loss is 10 points, then that's $1,000. This market has gone four times over that. And in between, it has also created what we call the hunt seed setup. So I will also show you that signal, which was created about five days ago. It is also doing 300%. So if you risked, let's say $1,000 on that, you're sitting at $3,000 profit and it can go further up. So let's have a look at the charts now. Okay, so what you see here is a beautiful setup one that was signaled onto you, uh, and we received the signals on signal on the 10th of June. So the 10th of June, market was here, the price uh, alligator was sleeping, there was a tight box, and there was a fresh cross of zero line. Before that, to the left, you see uh, a clear wave three. As you can see, this is E-Waves light. There's gonna be a video about it, how to get this. The secret way to count Elliott Wave in just 10 seconds or less is explained in this book. If you haven't downloaded it yet, enter your email here and download it as soon as possible. Then you will know how to use this indicator correctly. So this is a three and when this three happened, all you had to do, it took a month, but you had to wait for the gator to sleep and AO to cross the zero line. And when it did that, you wanted to wait for uh, the blue dot. So when the blue dot appeared, a few days later, the tight the box got even tighter. So around the 19th of June, you would have put your pending order. Actually, before that, around around this level, your pending order would have been there. But especially at the end of this day, when this new box was created. Why? Because this is the low of the, the last five candles. So this has the lowest low of these five candles, which makes it a box low. So the box is low here. And now you have only, uh, I would call this, let's say, uh, $45, so uh, around $45, call it 45 units, right? So if these are 45 units of risk and you risked, let's say $1,000 on it or $100 on it, what you're looking at now is that you're sitting at 150 profit. So you went long here and then there was nothing to do. But also we have this seed signal here. When the seed signal appeared, your entry usually goes above the high of the seed candle and stop loss below the low, and that is the distance that you use to calculate 1%. Now, if you calculate that, and then you were to count the number of points that you've got after that, you can um, find out what is your risk to reward ratio. So in the next screen, I'm going to show you now. So on this screen, you see that the, the red boxes represents one unit of risk. Because, so this is, as, ex, as I explained before, this is your box of risk. So your entry would be here. So your entry is here and your stop loss is here. So this distance is your one unit risk, this space. Now, if you were to simply copy this box, let's suppose we copy this box, control C, control V. It's going to be the same level box. And if you were to move it up there, you would see if price moved that much, that's 1%. That's another box. And that's another box. And that's another box. So every box represents one unit of risk. Every red box and every blue box represents one unit of reward. So that's 1%. So if you went 1% risk, you are sitting at 4% profit. So that is 400% of your initial investment. So if you invested here and you risked, say, $5,000 or $1,000, it went four levels. So that's one unit risk, one unit reward, another unit reward, 
one more and one more. That's four units. So that's 400% on your in initial investment. But now pay attention to the other box. So this lighter red box represents the uh, range of the seed signal that we have. Now, if you didn't take this trade, you could have taken the seed signal or because you were already about an, um, one and a half units in, in profit, you could have then added on using the seed. But guess what the seed is doing? The seed in one, two, three, four, five days has also got you one, two, three, four units. So that's 400% on the setup one, 400% on the seed as well on its own because the seed signal is a fractal geometric sister of a setup one. So next I will show you how the seed creates actually a setup one of a lower time frame. So you don't have to go to a lower time frame. Like let's suppose you're on the daily chart and you see a seed like this. What it is telling you is that there is a setup one on the four hour chart. So let's have a look at the four hour chart. So before I go to the four hour chart, I've marked the seed with this yellow box. So as I drop to the four hour chart, the yellow box will expand, which will represent where was the, the seed. So this is our mechanism to actually uh, trade the current the setup one of the current time frame but at the same time we also manage to catch a setup one that is happening on the five times lower time frame so multiple time frame analysis multiple time frame trading without changing your time frame let's go to the four hour chart as you can see this is that box inside this box as i explained the setup one there was a three here or maybe it's possible that it was showing as a three or probably a wave five here, three, four, five, but it's a continuation. Now, let me go back to the daily chart because you know that the gator is open and it's moving. Every time it sets up, you want to go in because it's trending, right? And especially because around that time, it was a nice steady trend. It's very parallel to the gator. Now, it will be different now because it's, it's now created that angle. It's gone too far too fast. So you'll be careful if there's a seed here because it can pull back, it can snap back to the green. But if you go to the four hour chart now, what you saw at this time was a peak of AO, then cross of zero line. You have the sleeping gator, purple is correct, blue dot, and you have these level to contend. Let me create another box here. So if you wanted to be careful, what you do is that you will put your pending order above there and stop loss below this price level or below the hump of this green. So that's your, let's say 20, uh, dollar risk. Where did it go? Now you're sitting at 80 or 82 dollars profit. So that's 400% on this setup one. So whether you traded the setup one on its own here, you made your money 400% on that. Whether you traded the setup one here, you made that money. Whether you traded the seed here on the daily chart, you made the same money or if you were on the daily chart, you took this trade and because you were in profit, you added on using the seed signal. Now you're sitting at 800% profit or let's say one ratio, eight risk to reward ratio. This is a beautiful setup. Uh, as you can see, when you have a three, you wait for the four, you wait for the setup one. I'm not asking you to trade Elliott wave. I'm asking you to trade the setup one because the setup one is built upon the uh, concept of the 10 second Elliott wave. If you learn, if you trade this setup one, if you know this pattern, price going, AO going, creating a new peak, Gator is sleeping, breaks out, opens, then price goes sideways, then Gator sleeps again, AO crosses the zero line, you get the blue dot, you take the break of the box, that's setup one, it happens from monthly, yearly chart all the way to the 10 second chart. I trade it on the 12 second chart and DAX M1 every day, M1 and S12. It happens many, many times. So this is how you can trade on a daily chart, uh, which would takes only 10, which takes only 10 to 15 minutes a day of your time. Look at your charts, trade the setup one and trade the hunt signal, the seed signal and the cherry signals. You won't even have to be in front of the screen. It can be set and forget, take a trade, let it run and enjoy the profit. If you, before you go, please hit the like button if you like the video and leave me a comment uh, about what you think about this video and would you like to see more videos like this or if you have any other idea or suggestion. So thank you for tuning in. 
and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video and if yes, please hit the like button. Do you have any questions or ideas for upcoming videos? Then leave a comment. Also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future videos. See you next time.